the very first step is to set up the grid and you put the graph paper up on the wall. Once that's perfect, then you take a little tool like a nail or a pin and you mark through the wall all 20,000 holes. So 200 across by 100 down. Then you remove the paper and you'll have a grid of holes. And that then dictates the rest of the installation. The next stage is to actually put the coins on the wall. Now as an artist, I'm a sculptor, which means I care about physically how the thing kind of looks. And even though it's like a grid of coins, you think, well, what's the art of that? Part of it is just finding the right tension in the work. So for instance, each coin is minted and then each coin is welded with a very tiny pin. lot of work that are, that are made up of quantities because it kind of reflects who we are. I mean, you're part of like a society, you're part of a culture, you're part of a community, but yet you're kind of an individual. So each coin gets to be its own little, its own little role in that. They're not all equal. They're definitely not equal. They're different letters and they're different parts of different words. And um, I really like that tension between trying to make something perfect and then all the individuality that comes from making that perfect.